Hello, fellow diamond painting addicts, and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne, and I'm here today with an unboxing. This is a kit that has been on my artist series, and I've been meaning to get to it. However, I finally decided when I was looking at my kits today, I needed to get to this one because it is not in a box. And all of my other ones are kind of protected because they're in a box, this one isn't. And I've been meaning to get to it anyway, so I'm just gonna unbox it. This particular kit is from DIY Moon. I bought two kits from them at the same time. I've already done the first one. I did that one, I believe last year. And so I wanna get to this one. Because I had two in the same kit, they all both toolkits came together. So this is the toolkit that came with this one. I got two pens a pair of tweezers, two seven placers, three plates of wax, and a tray. So that's the toolkit for this one. Now, like I said, it's wrapped in this cardboard because I had two sent to me at once. So let me get rid of the cardboard and we will look at this kit. This kit is by an artist that I really, really like. Uh, I saw that DIY Moon Shop had a bunch of their art and I was just really in love with it. It is an Art Nouveau style and I just thought it was really pretty and interesting. So you can see here, it's got DIY Moon branding at the bottom. We've got uh, 38 colors. That's actually not too many for as big as this is. This is a 50 by 71. It is around, as you can see in the drills. And because it's 50 by 71, I'm not gonna get the whole thing on screen, but I'll do some B-roll so that you guys can see it. DIY Moon, I've done another one of theirs. There's no issues with their symbols or anything like that. The drills were nice. See, it is nice and sticky where it needs to be. So let's measure the size. It says this is 50 by 71. So let's see how big big it is. It is 49 and a half. And then let me put it this way. 49 and a half by not quite 71, maybe a millimeter under. So 49 and a half by 71, pretty good. But I just thought this was a really cute image. It's this, like I said, very Art Nouveau style girl. She's got the keyboard down here. She's got a game controller in her hand. And then down the sides, there are various little pieces from video games. There's some stuff from Link and Zelda. There's some stuff from Mario Brothers. But because it was in that Art Nouveau style, I just thought it was really interesting and a kit that I wanted to do. So this is by Medusa the Dollmaker. I unfortunately will not be able to stick a link below because DIY Moon Shop has apparently gone out of business. However, I did see that Jada Gem Shop has picked up Medusa the Dollmaker and she has kits over there by her. So if you're interested in this kit, this image, or any of the other Medusa the Dollmaker images, she's over at Jada Gem Shop now. So let's look at the drills. It said 38 colors. So it looks like from the inventory sheet, I've got one AB, which is the 310 AB. So I'm gonna save those for last. And then let's go through all of our colors here. So we have a kind of dark mauve, a kind of a salmon, another dark mauve, a brick red, kind of a mulberry color, a very light mauve, a purple, kind of a milk chocolate color, and then we've got another very dark purple, a very dark like blush pink, a dark brown, move some of these out of the way, a light brown, another kind of very dark chocolate brown and a brown and then we've got another kind of very dark reddish purple we've got another like berry color another kind of dark red a very dark blue we've got a light gray 
a kind of a dark watermelon color, a very kind of khaki brown. We've got another dark brown. We've got kind of a mustard olive brown, a kind of burnt orange, a light gray. We've got a kind of regular blue. We've got kind of a burnt orange, a, I don't know, a dark salmon that looks like, a purple, a very dark gray, a very large bag. So I'm gonna guess this is the background color of this kind of slate blue. And then we have some peach, some kind of brighter peach, some darker peach. I'm gonna guess those are skin colors. We've got a light brown, whoops, a kind of a mustardy brown, a dark gray, and some very dark blue. And then of course we have our uh, ABs. So let's look at the canvas. Let me get all these drills put away. Let's look at the canvas and see where our ABs are gonna go. Be right back. Okay, so our 310 ABs are gonna go kind of here where it says gamer here, and then they're just kind of sprinkled all throughout. There's some little bit of everywhere in all of the kind of outline of everything. So it'll be interesting. I may switch these out for just some regular black drills because I don't know if I'm gonna like having all of the words and everything be ABs. I think that black ABs tend to be because they turn it into like this kind of green, blue, purple color, don't always look great, especially when it's something that's supposed to be for shadows. So what I may do, in fact, what I think I'm leaning towards is instead of using ABs, I'm gonna start out with black. I'll just substitute in black rounds and then I'll see where I end up. And there you go, guys. There is Gamer Girl from DIY Moon. Like I said, no longer available because DIY Moon is closed, but I wanted to get to this one. I want to do this kit, but also because it's not in a box, it's kind of a little more exposed where I store everything than other kits. And so I thought I would get to it quicker. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video, guys. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.